y'all welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video welcome back to you seeing me in the same dress that i was wearing the other day because it's hot and i wanted to be comfortable and light and flowy because i'm gonna have a little picnic outside in my garden i'm choosing to treat myself today i'm choosing to you know just enjoy my space enjoy my time relax unwind just be really in a good place i've had a really rough couple of days and i do just want to unwind and have a good time so uh, that little snippet of the fruits that you saw pretty much all of that um is pretty much what i'm gonna set up on the wooden board wooden chopping board here this this right here i'm gonna set that up now and pretty much yeah cover it up in cling wrap Go outside, sit outside, listen to some good music. My cupboard is open. <laughs> uh, listen to some good music, unwind, chill, read a book, and just relax. So I want to show you how I set all of that up, including how I set up my setup outside, uh, so you guys can see. But, yeah, let's do it. Let's have a good day. Let's have a picnic. Let's relax. Let's unwind.
So just a tip for if you're sitting outside and you've got a spread like this, of course, outside has a lot of bugs and things and all of that. I normally purchase these. They look like huge, gigantic shower caps. Let me show you the box. So this is the box. And thankfully, I had one left over. These are the Glad um, Handy Covers, elasticized food, elasticized food covers. So as you can see in the picture there as well, it's just a great way for you to cover up your food. Actually, I just recalled this little masterpiece is missing a small plate of olives because, honey, just a little tiny plate here on the corner of some olives. Don't squeeze everything in, please. I don't like things being squeezed in. But I'm a big, 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 big olive lover. Need a spoon. And of course, this is not just my picnic alone. Of course, there's going to be two people in this picnic. However, I just wanted to show you that if I was having it alone, I would definitely do literally half the size of this whole thing. Okay. <laughs> So, good. so this is great because all you do is you just sort of cover up the food like so. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. The mango decided to fall over. There you go. So you cover up all the food like so. And then when you're ready to eat, you eat. But you know that in the meantime, the food is safe from like flies and things like that. It's perfect. Perfect. So you pretty much saw the setup outside. I'm a little bit apprehensive because it's seeming like it's a bit cloudy. Uh, not cloudy enough to rain as yet because the sun is coming in and out of the clouds. I'm looking outside my window. <laughs> but I'm hoping that it'll give us at least an hour or two, two, two even, before we'd have to go inside. Um, so for water, when I'm out there, I typically use one of these. Again, you can also cover this up with cling wrap. But, I mean, water is just water. Uh, I can infuse the water with fruits and things like that. But because it's just a picnic for two, I don't really need to go all the way out. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. Um, but I just wanted to show you that is typically how I would set up a picnic space. That's what I did in my picnic vlog from last year. I'm, pretty good. I'm sure you guys saw a little bit of the setup. Well... No, I think you saw, I don't know if you guys saw the setup exactly, but you may have seen the pictures and yeah, last year's picnic, there was a bunch of people there, I think close to 25, 30 people, but this one is a very small picnic, it's an intimate one for two and my guest is on their way and in the meantime, while the guest is on the way, I'm thinking the wine is busy chilling and all of that, I am going to pour myself a glass of gin. Because, why not? Why not? It's December. It's December, Poza. Poza Yami. It's December.
type. Hey, they were talking about uh, debit orders on 702. Uguti manje because of festive time, baso keep a mat debit, baso tanta mat debit order early. Do people do that? Do the banks do that? Okay, what what does early mean? What does early mean? It's the companies, so they know that around this time people are spending like like crazy. People are paid for December, so you can't really wait until the fifteen, the uh, twenty five. That's not right. Because your money, that money would be gone by then. No, but then there must be there must be a law or something. They yeah, can't just jack shit like... from my account when 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 it's like it's like the twenty second and they and they want and they normally take on the twenty sixth. I feel like when you sign a contract or whatever, December they would say What? Ukuba it might be taken a bit earlier. When we're signing for contracts, we're just excited that we got our um, accounts. Mm. We don't give a damn about it. <laughs> eh. oh, they thank co- goodness. They cover in their asses. Quarantine, quarantine is is as well. Uh-huh. Let me let me call. Girl, hey, Quar Quar. Hey baby. <laughs> hey Quarantini. Hello mama. Hello Aggie. Should we get an Airbnb? Do we get an Airbnb or do we get a hotel? Airbnb. Privacy. Love it. Yeah, what else still hotel? <laughs> so now... What does that even mean, bro? What does that even mean? Hotels feel hotel mm. So, uh, good morning, everybody. I'm actually on my way to uh, the. Is it open? Ah, oh, it is open. I'm actually on my way to the Stau, the complex around here. We call them complexes. It's like a. A miniature mall, but it's like a neighborhood kind of. It's got the grocery store, the odd grocery store here, the barber shop, the blah blah blah. Uh, there's some things that I sold on Instagram. There's some things that I sold on Instagram uh, yesterday. I was so surprised that they sold um, that quickly. So I am going to just get stuff to wrap. Uh, it's old clothing and um, really really it's not old but it's well kept and pre-loved clothing so um, I thought rather than just give it away or what have you some of those things were rather expensive so I thought you know what I don't wear them anymore maybe some of the people who follow me can buy them if they eat keen and to start I think I put up maybe six items of um, clothing and I ended up, it all ended up being bought. Like within half an hour, everything was gone. And that's nothing because it's just like six things. But I was surprised at um, how many people wanted each item. Like I had maybe four or five people wanting each particular item. And then probably unwind. I, I don't know if I spoke about um my sort of like my condition on my channel I, I, I think i have i struggle from a condition called costochondritis but i'll talk about it a little bit later it's literally flared up last night i could barely sleep uh but i went to the doctor so i've got the um, medications and whatever because i could feel it coming on but last night was quite bad <coughs> I had to take sort of like short breaths. My chest was quite tight. A whole lot of stuff. But I'll talk to you guys about that a little bit later.
So I just got back into the house. I washed my hands, I sanitized them so I can touch my face. Um, I, I would explain to you how tired I am, but you wouldn't believe me. But you will believe me after I tell you why I'm tired. Uh, but before that, I just got back. I delivered those parcels. Fantastic. Uh, then I... What did I do after that? I met up with... No. I picked up these. This. Because... It's December and I'm uncontrollable in December because I get to in December. It's just a little bit of a mess, okay? Um, but I have a reason why I pick those things up. Uh, no, <laughs> not at home. Home, etc. And um, I was just looking around, you know, just looking around. And you guys know how much I love mugs. And I came across this mug. Look at this mug, it's great. Beautiful. It reminds me of those mugs that have the cork at the bottom, but this is not cork, it's all glass. And I picked it up for 30 bucks. It wasn't special, so I got it. 30 bucks, and it's fantastic. It's a good size. You can hold it quite nicely. I'm somebody who likes tea and coffee, so I saw it, and I was just like, well, why not? Why not? It's 30 bucks. It's not special. Why not? Um, then, the other purchase was, let's see if you can see it, wine glasses. The problem is I've got a lot of wine glasses. Well, not anymore. Not, not that many white wine glasses. I've got red wine glasses that are absolutely stunning, and I love them, and they're my favorite glasses. Fortunately, uh, most of the people that come here don't drink red, <laughs> red wine. They prefer white wine, which is fine. But the problem with them preferring white wine is that wine glasses get broken. Now, I have stemless wine glasses, which I'm pretty sure you've seen on my channel before. Um, uh, here's an example. So this is the stemless, um, so that's the stemless white wine glass. Really, really love this glass. Really, really love these when you feel like having white wine. But sometimes you want to have white wine and feel like you're actually having white wine and you're not having something that looks like appetizer or what have you in a stemless. Sometimes you just want to drink out of a white wine bottle. So I picked these up also from home, etc. These are the Verona wine glasses and also on special uh, from 369 to 279. So not that much of a, uh, a jump, but we love specials. I picked these up and they're absolutely stunning. Look, I wanted to pick up the uh, red ones as well, but then I thought I've got too many red wine glasses. And the problem was white wine glasses. So I, I got these in a pack of six and they are absolutely stunning. Do I want to wash them now? Absolutely not. Am I tired? Absolutely am. Um, so the reason why I am tired and practically don't have any taste in my mouth is because um, of my costo. So I went to the doctor yesterday morning. I'm sure you must have picked up that little piece of um, footage. Went to the doctor yesterday morning. I struggle from a condition called costochondritis. And costochondritis is essentially um, an inflammation of the cartilage on your sternum between your ribs, sternum, so the cartilage that connects your rib bones to your sternum and some like that, uh, th th that cartilage gets inflamed and the rib bones sort of jam into your sternum and causes immense, <laughs> immense pain. That makes it really hard to breathe sometimes. Sometimes it, um, uh, you can't sleep in a certain position. It's really a shitty thing to go through and it happens every now and again. So it's not something that happens all the time, but it hits a lot of the time, especially when I'm stressed out, which I have been over the last couple of months. Um, so I was expecting that this would happen. So it's, it started maybe about last week and I was just like, oh, it's not that bad, it's not that bad. I can handle it, I can handle it. Until I woke up yesterday morning, I was like, I can't handle this. I need antibiotics. So I went to the 
doctor. And of course, the antibiotics are very strong uh, to such a point that after drinking the antibiotics, I, f I lose all sense of taste in my tongue. And it's not, it's not the perfect time to be losing all sense of taste because what, what could I possibly think it is, you know, when I can't taste stuff? Um, I can taste things, actually. It's just that they're nasty. Water doesn't taste good. Wine doesn't taste good. Nothing tastes good. But then again, you shouldn't be drinking wine when you are on antibiotics. Tell that to, to me. Anyway, so, um, yeah, it cause, causes immense, immense pain. And um, struggle to sleep and all of that. So, yesterday was, was that day. I just couldn't survive. I really couldn't. Today is that day. I still feel... Uh, quite tired, quite worn out, and I just feel like I um, I feel like I need to shut down for a little bit, which I do plan on doing right now. Uh, I'll probably wash these glasses tomorrow or something like that. I don't know. Uh, probably edit this vlog when I can find my laptop and just unwind. I feel like uh, this is pro pretty much where I'm going to end this vlog. It's probably going to be a really short one. Um, yeah, I should be taking a December break from YouTube, but it's not me. It's not me. Taking breaks feels weird for me. Okay, <laughs> but I really hope I'm I'm so bummed out that this vlog has to end on a really low note. It's not really a sour note or anything like that. I'm just feeling rather tired. Uh, bummed out that it has to end out this way. However, I'm gonna pour myself a cup of tea in this baby and test it out give it a test run and i'll probably see you in the next video okay i hope you enjoyed this one if you have please subscribe join the channel also click the notification bell so that you know every single time i upload until then i'm gonna see you soon okay bye um... <laughs>